Hey everyone, this video is going to be a little bit different. I have compiled all of my sketchbook tours since the beginning of 2018 and I put them all together in one video that you can watch in the background if you just want to see my entire sketchbook progression. I thought it'd be fun to do a little sketchbook supercut video and there'll be two parts. So this is the first one. It goes until the end of 2019 and then the part two will start at 2020 and go until the present day. So make sure you check out part two and I hope you enjoy seeing all of my sketchbook tours. Hi everyone, this video is going to be a sketchbook tour and this is the one I've been working on for the last couple months. I started it in September and I finished it in January, just uh, near the beginning of January. And now I'm gonna be doing a tour of it, but I can't show you every single page because some pages just have things on it that I can't show you because it has like my, where I live and stuff on it. So I'm just gonna jump right in. So here's some practice cubes, some shapes. The thing about this sketchbook is I'm proud of some things in it, but I feel like most of the stuff I'm not really proud of, and I don't really know why that is. Maybe I've improved since I made a lot of these things, I don't know. But I found somewhere like near the middle and kind of close to the end, I started to like not really care as much and I started to kind of be lazy almost, I don't know. But near the beginning, I like some of the pages. And I kept writing like, oh, this is so messy or this is bad. Like I just kept, I don't know, there's something about this sketchbook that I just just wasn't really feeling. I don't know. I like the sketchbook. This paper is really great. I love this paper, but it was just like the sketchbook itself. I don't know. I'm going to take that off. Some bears with some gel pens, some bird flower skulls. These are some seagulls that I drew from life and one of them only had one foot and I thought it was the, the cutest thing. I need to like keep note of that. And he only had one foot, so he could still fly. It was just like landing was kind of difficult for him, but these are all drawn from life and they just kept moving. So that's why they're all like super scribbly. And I actually did Inktober this year. And I think I did every single day, maybe not every day, but I think I did fall behind a couple times, but I still did every day, I think. So there's day one, day two, wasn't happy with day two. Day three is okay. Day four, that's from Over the Garden Wall. Day five is a kitty. Day six, a mushroom, a little girl under a mushroom. Day seven, just like ghosts for hair, but I don't like her face. I'm not happy with the way I drew faces in this sketchbook. Just, I'm not. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I kind of like number twelve. It's like really thick outlines. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Some of these aren't on my Instagram because I really didn't like them. Like, like this one for some reason looks really weird on camera and I couldn't get a good picture so I didn't put it on Instagram. These are some more graphical ones because I got a brush pen that I was trying out and I still don't really like it. I'm just not good at using it and I just prefer, I prefer like the felt tip kind of, oh that's not, that's not a brush pen. I prefer the felt tip kind of brush pen rather than the actual bristles I've discovered, at least for at this point. This is one of my favorite ones and so is this one. I hate this one. <laughs> A bird, scribbles because I just couldn't keep up. I don't like this one at all. This is a cute, a cute one, a cute ghost. And this was the last day. And I decided to use color because I didn't use color throughout all of Inktober because I just wanted to do it with ink. A messy page. Looking at these, like I, I knew these weren't that great at the time, but still looking back now, I think I've gotten better with just using pen. Like I, I'm not a fan of this or this. But that's been what I've, that, that's kind of something I've been trying to work on is just using pen straight away without putting pencil first. Just sketching with pen. Some skeleton studies. Random doodles. I was studying feet here because the stuff bled through to the other side. So I wanted to do something quick on the other side. Not happy with this one, but like the rest are okay, I guess. That's a squirrel skeleton. Ears, muscles. I was studying from these. The Atlas of Human Anatomy, and also Constructive Anatomy before that. I really like this blue. I think it's a pro marker, but it's one of my favorite blues. It's like very muted. More trying to sketch with ink, and these are just like, oh, these are so bad. I don't know what it was about this sketchbook, but it did keep me drawing because I managed to pretty much fill it. Not every single page, but most of it. Rapunzel themed stuff. This page is just a hot mess because I was practicing my brush pen and it, it leaves a very smooth black 
box, so I might use it for that. But I know it takes a long time to dry, so that's one of the reasons why I wouldn't use it. Landscape practice. And the thing that I love about the sketchbook is it works so well with watercolor. I should mention what it is. It's the Strathmore, uh, is it Strathmore? Yeah. Strathmore Vision Mixed Media Sketchbook. And it's 7 by 10 there's 70 pages, 98 pounds, and you can do watercolor and it works really well. And this is actually based off of a place that I go to on hikes sometimes. And actually this leaf I found there and it was actually pretty much this bright purple, maybe a bit more reddish, like maybe more add that to it and that and that's the color it would be, like kind of a darker purple. But no, it was, it was a really bright purple leaf and it was so cool and there's a whole vine of them. So I took a couple, I think they're in a flower press right now actually. I should take those out, maybe put them in my new sketchbook. Not a fan of this page, I should have sprayed it with something because it smudged so badly. That's what Spiral does, it tends to like go like this and then everything smudges. I found out that this pen I used to write with isn't waterproof, so I was going in with like water and smearing it all and testing stuff. Testing stuff here too, this is like a test page. Scribbles, scribbles, like I left so many blank spaces on my pages. I think I was just kind of done with it. <laughs> that is a strange smudge. Just some gesture figure drawing stuff. Some more, <laughs> more. Planning for a, a painting that I did of little fishies. More practice. I used these watercolor markers. I should, I forgot I had those. I should use those more. Practicing coloring. Covered this face because I think it's really ugly. <laughs> and I, I marked down the first snowfall because I really get excited when it snows for the first time. But now I'm just so done with the snow. But it's a good thing it's melting now. It's probably going to snow again, but it's melted for now. I like to put backpacks on animals, so I've been like doing birds with backpacks. These are some fish with backpacks. And I don't think I drew this strap properly, like that would go around his fin. I think it should come up more, but I didn't post this because the colors turned out really dull, but I might actually post that on Instagram. I was trying some like perspective for some reason here and just like scribbled out a random like storefront almost, some monster designs, some value stuff, some like value landscapes, I guess. Some eyes that I, I'm just gonna go quickly. <laughs> Ballpoint pen stuff, pencil stuff, just like figures. I was just like not feeling it in the sketchbook. I don't know why. I actually like these birds. I used um these like color race. No, no, I used a pilot color Eno mechanical pencils. They're like pencil crayons pretty much. Some cat scribbles and then a, a cute weird one. I have to skip all these pages. A bird with some pencil crayon. That's a cockatiel. I love cockatiels. They're so, they're so cute and they can sing. Some geometric hair. Lemon. There's just something about this sketchbook that I, I don't know. Testing out some new watercolors down here. I think they were the Koi ones. It's a travel set that I got for Christmas, so I was trying that out. I think around here I started to kind of like the sketchbook more. Because I kind of like how that turned out. It's supposed to be a Christmas tree, but obviously it doesn't actually look like that. I was just playing around with watercolor. That's a window with watercolor. A couch that I just drew. I kind of like the colors here. This is gouache. I think I painted over something for some reason. More couches. Practicing drawing stuff from just around my house. More stuff from just around my house. And a car. <laughs> I covered something here, but I have no idea what it is now. Just like watercolor stuff. More stuff. <laughs> I think I was trying to like fill the sketchbook at this point. Oh, I think this is actually the end. <laughs> what a weird way to end it, because like these are so weird. That's an actual jar that I have, but I didn't draw it very well. I kind of rushed it. Yeah, and that's the end. There's still a page, and there was other pages too, but I think I actually tore out a couple pages from the sketchbook, so I didn't entirely fill it, but for the most part, it's a lot of pages anyway. <laughs>
like 70 pages, which would be 140 for double-sided. Hope you enjoyed seeing my sketchbook. Um, I just don't really feel like it's that special of a sketchbook. I think I was just like learning a lot of stuff in it and just like practicing new things and just like trying to keep drawing while trying to keep up with school work. I, I decorated the cover with like some birds and some feathers and some bird feet print, but I think I would change it if I could, but I'm, I'm going to leave it. This actually came like with the sketchbook. It's like, it's like a thicker paper um, to do, like to decorate your own cover. Cause that's why it's called Strathmore Vision. And I, I bought another one. I'll show you it. It looks like this, but there's this blank cover underneath. You can decorate yourself. So that's what it looks like. It's so weird to see it all like fresh. So I hope you enjoyed seeing this. This is my current sketchbook now. It's one that I made and it's only 40 pages. I might make another one once I'm done that one. I'm not sure, but I'm proud of some things in here, but a lot of things I'm not, I don't think I, really made it like all like cohesive and work together. It was more of just like doodling for the most part, but I learned a lot and I'm glad it's done now. So <laughs> thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Hi everyone. So I'm back with another sketchbook tour and it, it feels kind of soon from the last sketchbook tour I did. I actually filled this one pretty quickly. Um, there's a date on it. It's January 14th to February 27th. So like a month and a half ish. Um, it's only 40 pages and it's smaller than usual, but I'm glad that I finished it. And it's actually the sketchbook that I made. Um, I have a video where showing how I made this. I used the Coptic stitch method and it held up really well. And the cover is a little bit beat up around the corners, but I don't really mind because that's just gonna happen with sketchbooks. I kind of like it when it looks all used because it shows that you actually like use the sketchbook. So I'm just gonna jump into it and I found this in a magazine. I just stuck it to the front because I liked it. I'm always really um, indecisive about what to put on the covers of my sketchbooks and I usually end up just leaving them blank so I don't really know what to do. So the good thing about this sketchbook is it lies really flat. So on the first page I did was a bunch of pencil crayon birds. I had fun with them and I, I, oh, I, I completely forgot about pencil crayon in this sketchbook. Um, for the longest time, I've like haven't used sketchbook. Uh, I haven't used pencil crayon in a while, but I rediscovered it in this sketchbook, and then I just forgot. Random studies, random faces, a tree, some gesture drawings from just like a random pose generator. Um, some more stuff from life. Some more stuff from life with crayon too. I put crayon here. Crayons are really nice in sketchbooks, by the way. <laughs> because they don't smudge at all. They might flake off a little bit and then stick to the other side, so just be careful about that, but I don't know, I don't think it looks too bad. A bunch of doodles. Um, I had a lot of fun with this sketchbook because of the, the pen I got. It's this pen, and as you can see, it's like pretty much empty. It's almost empty, it's getting there, but I really like this pen. It's the Pentel Liquid Gel Ink Energel, something like that. It looks like this, it's by Pentel. It says Energel. It's like a liquid ballpoint pen, it's really nice. This makes me laugh so much and I don't know why. Also, I was practicing expressions here and I should do that more. I'm going to do that more in my next sketchbook. Some hands. I need to do more of those. I've been really into kind of doing like animal studies lately. Not necessarily here yet, but eventually. This was from Life. A fire hydrant from Life. Some cars. I drew a lot of cars in this book. Um, not like a lot, but I did draw some, which I usually don't draw any. Some little baby birds. I posted these on Instagram a while ago. My dog. My dog. <laughs> kind of a room, but it's super scribbly. This page is really weird. <laughs> Some trees with markers. Markers are always fun. Crayon. I had, oh my gosh, I completely forgot this happened, but I had a dream where, oh my gosh, I had a dream where I had this as a pet it was like a white platypus squirrel thing. It was so weird. I can't even remember it now. I should have wrote down the details. I usually don't remember my dreams, so that was like a pretty big deal that I actually remembered. Something weird. Some cars. Weird page. Life stuff. Some birds. This page is kind of a mess, so yeah. Chickens. And some stuff from life. I love blocking in the background with color with crayon. It's fun. I kind of like this page because I use a thicker pen than usual. And the faces actually turned out how I wanted them to. Pretty much everything on this page I'm like okay with. 
Except for her weird expression and her really stiff hands. And the way I shaded her face is kind of odd looking. It doesn't matter because I was just trying stuff out. Some brush pen practice. Some more faces. I need to. I was trying to do like sad expressions. But I don't know. I don't know what prompted me to draw this. I can't remember. But there was something. I, I don't know. <laughs> A little doggy. I covered up some ones that bothered me like that one and um, that one. <laughs> I kind of like this page, I don't know why. I just like the the blue and the, the simplicity, like the comfort zone doodles. I was doodling little birds. Egg girl. Trying to do, I don't know, I like to draw kind of fluid things to kind of make my art not as stiff. This is supposed to be a glass of chocolate milk, but like there's, it's filled with like bubbles, but it kind of ends up just looking like ice. Some more faces. I'm not happy with the way I draw that. I need to fix the way I draw some kinds of faces. <laughs> I just filled this with birds because I can't remember what was on this page, but I just covered it with sticky notes, like a collage, and then just drew a bunch of birds on it. I think this page is kind of interesting. I just like the, I don't know, it's very colorful. I kind of like that face. I want to explore that more. There's lots of crayon smudges here. This is the Pilot Color Eno, and it is so vibrant on toned paper. Here I started to really try to draw animals, <laughs> Except for on this page. I was trying to draw things from life, but it was raining, so I started to rush. And there's just, like, people around, and I just didn't... I couldn't focus, and I wasn't warmed up, because when I'm not warmed up, I just can't... I can't draw properly. It takes me a couple drawings before I get into it. Just some weird things. What? What is that? <laughs> it's, like, water and some buildings from life. It's kind of falling apart here. I don't know. I don't know what's happening. Oh, so what prompted me to do this was I saw an article on the Weather Network saying snowshoe hairs aren't turning white anymore for obvious reasons. And there's just a couple of lines in the article for some reason I found really funny. And then they were saying how there's a lot of predators to snowshoe hairs. And then it's like even squirrels have a taste for them. So... Then I wanted to actually draw them, and their feet are so weird. They're, like, so wide, and it's because they have to run in the snow, I guess. That's why they're called snowshoe hair. It's because their feet are snowshoes. I've been trying to learn how to draw bunnies because their heads are just so weird. Like, they're, they're like, oval-shaped, but their eyes are at the sides. It's very difficult. Some doggies. Some, I can't remember what this is called. It starts with the A. Axolotl? Something like that. Oh, I wrote this down because I wanted to do stickers, and I have done stickers with those. Some fishies, because I, I want to try to learn, I, I want to draw a lot of animals so I can draw them without needing references necessarily. So I've been trying to draw them more and more. And it's just like kind of easy to just like sit down and just fill a page with animal drawings from Google Images, just, just trying to figure out what they look like. See, I'm not happy with this kind of, the way I draw like this kind of face. I think there's something with the eyes. I don't pay enough attention. I need to make them smaller or, I don't know, there's just something about it I have to fix. Some snails, because I want to do this big, um, I want to do like a snail drawing, like a big, um, I have an idea that involves snails. So, and they're kind of interesting, like I, I don't really know exactly how their shell goes with the snail, so I was trying to study those. And then frogs, I find so hard to draw for some reason. Um, so that's why I did a bunch of frogs at the end of the sketchbook. So just from Google images, like all of my drawings of animals, I just go to Google, search frog, and I like scroll down a bunch and then just draw them. And that's the end. I like frogs. They're pretty cool. So I want to draw more animals and I want to work on my expressions. And I don't know, but I, I'm kind of happy with this sketchbook. I thought I wasn't, but I think I made good progress in it. I don't know. I think I'm happy with this. And I made it too, so it's completely my own book. So I'll show you what sketchbook I'm using now. Um, if you've seen my Instagram, you might have, have seen this already, but this is the sketchbook I made. It's a little bit smaller than this one. Just a little bit. It's a little bit shorter. And I actually wrapped um, the cover in paper. So it's the same material. I just wrapped the cover and I wrapped the back too. The back is this black there's like little circles on it and this one has stripes on it and also like a chevron 
kind of pattern. It's Coptic Stitch again. Um, I think there's 40 pages in here, just like the other one. But the thing is that's different about it is that it's rainbow on the side. And basically all I did was just, on all the signatures, I just put a colored piece of paper on the outside so that it looked rainbow. And I put um, some of my favorite paper in here. It's like the Strathmore... Is it Strathmore? Yeah, Strathmore Vision Mixed Media Paper. I recently discovered and I really like it. So I, I bought a giant book of it and I'm going to use that to make sketchbooks out of now. Oh no, that's kind of loose. Oh no. But hopefully this stays together. I also put watercolor paper. There's some gold paper. Um, more gold paper. Watercolor. This is like thick cardstock. I'm kind of excited. I want to paint on these. I think that'd be pretty fun. I kind of wish I had more white paper in it, but what can you do? Because on the colored paper, I'm going to feel pressure to do something special. I don't need to, though. So I hope you enjoyed seeing my completed homemade sketchbook. Um, I definitely had a lot of fun drawing in it. I do miss being able to fold the pages over, but if the stitching is loose enough, you can fold it over a little bit, especially when you get to the end. You can kind of fold it over. I'm just kind of afraid of bending it, but. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Hi everyone, so this video is going to be a sketchbook tour and this sketchbook has taken me probably too long to fill. I can't remember exactly what what a month I got this in, but I think it's been two or three months, which is too long for a sketchbook for me. Um, but it's done now and I wanted to show you what's inside, as always. I didn't make the stickers on the front, these are from other people. So this is a moleskin sketchbook, which, um, like the book itself is made nicely, but I, di I didn't like the paper very much. It's super thick, which is nice. It works well with pencil, but it's a little too yellow for my taste and it gets torn up by uh, by water really, really easily or anything liquid. Um, I actually did this recently, not at the beginning, with uh, Posca pens. I was just scribbling around trying to test them out. Test it. I tested out some watercolors. Um, this was the first thing I did in this sketchbook. Just a drawing of a bird um, based off of a picture I took of one in my backyard. I painted this black. I wasn't covering something. I was gonna do a painting over top of it and I just never did. <laughs> a turtle gouache painting. Just some scribbles. Most of this sketchbook, I think this sketchbook started off stronger than, than when it finished. I think I kind of got lazy and I kind of gave up near the end of the sketchbook, but I was kind of trying at the beginning a little bit. I mean, I wasn't really trying that hard. There's a lot of experimenting and a lot of just like weird faces and stuff that I drew. Some watercolor. I don't know if I'm totally happy with the stuff in this sketchbook. Not as happy as I've been with other sketchbooks in the past. I did a lot of elephant drawings in here. A gouache painting of my dog. There's two of them there. Some crayon drawings of my dog. Um, that I, I try to draw in straight with pen for a lot of the drawings in here just to get better at like um, not having to sketch around so much. And I think I did improve on that, but I also did a lot of pencil drawing because I really do love using pencil. And this paper, if I were to just get this sketchbook and just use it for pencil, like I would probably do that because it's not good with watercolor, it's not good with Posca pens, it's not good with gouache. Well, actually gouache it's fine with. It's fine with like paint, but not like water, watery stuff. It just tears up the paper. Some elephant drawings, a planning of something that was really like not thought out at all. Um, I think I was doing this because of school, just trying to figure out different kinds of exterior drawings. I drew this at school, I glued this in tea bag. Just some scribbles and like I said I think it was a little bit better near the beginning than at the end. I remember liking this face. I just like the way that head shape turned out because when I draw faces I tend to just not think about it and I should and I've been trying to pay more attention to drawing faces near the end. Kind of. Not really. Only like a couple drawings. Some elephants and tigers just practicing drawing animals, because I've never really drawn tigers before, so I wanted to use a brush pen and just do it. It was fun. Some sharks, and drawing sharks is pretty fun. I really like their noses. Maybe I should do a shark pin or like a shark woodcut thing. That would be pretty fun. I left a lot of blank space in here, which I 
regret, but I'm not going back now. More blank space. This is when I kind of started to give up on the sketchbook and look how much how many pages are left. <laughs> this definitely isn't my best work, I would say. It's not my best work. This is from a movie, um, Mary and the Witch's Flower, and there's these like berries in the movie. I don't want to spoil it if you haven't seen it though. But they're not really berries, I think they're flowers. A fish, some frogs, a girl that looks not good, practicing some poses. I drew this during a power outage and it was super windy outside. And I painted over some things in here that I just couldn't stand to look at. So that's why there's random paint on some pages, but it was kind of fun to just like play around with paint. That's always fun to do. Oh, it's stuck. Oh no. Yeah, this page is a mess. It's a mess. Oh, this page is upside down. Wonderful. Just some not so good faces. I drew these during a video. And it was like one of the only, I really liked her expression until I ruined it with, uh, by making her lips too, like dark near the top. But I, I kind of like this girl. I think she's cute. Some dogs with, cra with crayon and these are with, um, Crayola pencil crayon. I thought this face was so strange and so weird. I just had to leave it in my sketchbook. More painting over stuff that bothers me. More painting over stuff that bothers me. And, and I really like the texture that this makes when it when you paint here and then fold it over. I think that's a cool texture. It was at this point in the sketchbook that I started to treat it really, really badly because I was using it to sketch out random pin ideas and they're just not good. They're just really not good. I was thinking of doing a chicken pin, but I don't know about that. Just some ideas. Some sticker ideas, I think. Just some more experimenting. I wasn't super, like I said, super happy with most of the stuff in the sketchbook. I honestly think I wasn't really trying my best here. I just wasn't enjoying sketching that much. I think it was really burnt out. That was the problem. So I would like force myself to doodle and it would just be like half effort, if you know what I mean. <laughs> this is a little pumpkin girl thing that I drew. I kind of like the way it turned out. I want to want to draw it more. And this was something I wanted to do. It's when you just draw random uh, shapes and then you try to make the shapes into objects. And it's a lot of fun. It's a good way to fill a page. And another. I think my sister drew these shapes. Yeah, my sister, I think. Wait. I think my sister drew these shapes, yeah. And then I made them into objects. This is based on a dream that my sister had where, like, a fox had a super long nose. So I drew the transition of it slowly coming out of a bush. Which doesn't make sense because a bunch of it is missing here. I painted in behind these sketches just to make them stand out a bit more. I kind of like this one and that face. I think I was getting somewhere here with faces because I like the way they turned out and I was thinking harder when I was actually drawing them because a lot of this, like I said, I was burnt out and just not really trying and just scribbling, but I'm showing you anyway, even though I'm not happy with most of the stuff in here, but I, I do like this page. I like some of the faces on there. And I also got Posca pens, which I want to do a video about because I've seen a lot of people using them and I thought I would try it, but it's just so horrible on this paper. It just rips up the paper. It's horrible. So I'm glad to be done this sketchbook to not have to use this paper anymore because I really don't like it. It's not very good. It's not very good for what I want it to be used for. Here's another page. And I think I was getting somewhere here too. I think these sketches are better than most of the stuff in the sketchbook, or at least they're like closer to what I want my art to be. They're just more polished. I think I just thought about it more while I was drawing it. And here's the last page. It's a little bird that I drew with a giant paintbrush. And then I kind of stamped it over like this. And I wrote June 2018, because that's when I finished it. And that's the sketchbook. That's it. That's everything. Now it's super, um, it's wanting to open on its own because the pages are so wrinkled. But one thing I will say about moleskin is that the book itself holds up pretty well. I like the ribbon. 
I like the elastic closure, the ribbon to keep your place in the book, and the little pocket at the end. But other than that, I don't like the paper in moleskin sketchbooks, so I'm gonna do something else. I have another one, a Strathmore Vision sketchbook that I really like. I, I bought an extra one, so I'm gonna use that as my next sketchbook. Um, I plan to do uh, some kind of challenge with it, but you'll hear about that probably next week that I'm going to be starting it this week and then you'll see like the progression of it over the weeks and you'll see what I'm going to do with that sketchbook. So some goals I have for my next sketchbook that I want to do is to draw slower, pay more attention to what I'm doing, um, study faces more, study expressions more, want to make things neater, take my time more, basically um, not leave so much white space and color more drawings, which will work really well in the Strathmore Vision mixed media sketchbook. I'll show you it actually. So here's a sketchbook I'm going to use for the next month or so. And it's one of those where you can customize your own cover. And I actually did my, uh, my random character design thing in here. It, it's a bit bigger than this sketchbook, um, but I plan to fill it fast. So I really hope you enjoyed seeing my messy sketchbook that I'm not super proud of, but I'm proud that it's done sort of thing. Um, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Hi everyone, so this video is going to be a sketchbook tour and I started this sketchbook in June and I finished it a couple days ago. So it's been uh, just under three months, maybe three months exactly. So I think I finished it like September 10th or something like that. And I did a lot in this sketchbook. It's the Mixed Media Strathmore Vision sketchbook. I really, really like these sketchbooks. They're some of my favorite paper. And I actually picked up another Strathmore Mixed Media sketchbook. It's not the Vision one, though. It's the soft cover regular Mixed Media one. I just want to see how it works in comparison to this one. In this sketchbook, I mostly did a lot of studies. I practiced drawing a lot of animals, I'm pretty sure, and I'm just excited to show you all the stuff I've done and to kind of take another look at it myself because it's been a while since I've looked at a lot of this stuff. So here we go. I'm pretty sure I filmed this before I actually like really got into the sketchbook. Um, I think this was a couple weeks before I actually started using this. So I really started the sketchbook a bit later, but this is the first thing I did. It was a video, I was just designing a animal mashup sort of thing. This page got all smudged, but I used some Posca pens to make little colored circles and I just drew things inside the circles. I think I got a lot better at faces because these aren't looking too good to me. I drew a bunch of little animals here. I was trying to design pins. So these are all kind of like pin and sticker ideas. Here's some standing up cats. Some colorful fox sketches. I don't think these were from reference, but these were. Well, I used some reference to see how cats look like when they're standing, and then I just kind of took it from there. Some more fox drawings, some more. Wow, I did a lot of fox drawings. Some gesture drawings and just like figure studies from random um, pose generators. Same thing. I think I was still trying to design pins here. <laughs> Or just like, I don't even know what's, what is going on there, I don't know. Yeah, I was still trying to think of pin designs. These are all pin designs. I think I was at a cottage when I was doing these, I'm not sure. It's like a ram with a bird on its head, some weird shark things, some goldfish. Some ducks with different like things on them. Wearing different things like backpacks and shoes and stuff. A magic goldfish. Some sea creature studies, another magic goldfish. Some more figure gesture drawing sort of things. Some of these aren't the best, like that one is not good, not very good at all. Some more stuff like that. I think these are from my head. These weren't. Oh, I just watched The Incredibles too, and I wanted to draw Violet. I wanted to do like actual fan art, but it just didn't really work out that well. More figure studies and animals and stuff. I think I went to like random photo generator and there was a bunch of people sitting on a beach in beanbag chairs and I thought that was so funny so I wanted to draw it. Some of the drawings in here are for practice so they're referenced from other artist drawings. So like these aren't my original ideas, I was just using them for practice. Some more sketches from my head, some more from my head, not the best, not the best. <laughs> There's some rough stuff in here. 
some little mushroom drawings. I don't have very much memory drawing these. A horseshoe crab and a leaf-tailed gecko mixed together. The same thing. I was designing that for a video, um, like where you put two animals together. Some more figure studies. I think this was a better day in terms of drawing. They turned out a little bit better from the ones before. I really like this one. I keep meaning to make this into a painting because so I just really like the composition of it. I think the pathway or river leads you to this like weird city really nicely. Some more drawings. I think these were mostly from my head. This might have been scribbled from a reference photo actually. <laughs> drawings from my head, not from reference. This one was from reference. Just practicing a lot of stuff. I was trying to work out how to draw people better in a very lazy way. <laughs> Kind of an empty page here. This one's kind of empty too, but just more more figure studies. Oh, some of these were not drawn by me. Some of them were drawn by my family, like my mom, my dad, <laughs> my sister. I think these were all in a video. I'm pretty sure. These were 30 second gestures. Not very good ones. Oh wow, these are really empty pages. Oh, this was a yellow art supply challenge. I just only used yellow art supplies. Um, and these were the little thumbnail sketches. I didn't do enough of those. <laughs> just a little doodle here. I was trying to think of like patch ideas. I never actually ended up making patches though. This was a little planning card for another video. And this was part of the planning too. Just some cow studies and trying to figure out what kind of character I wanted to do. I think I settled on this. Scribbles and of stuff, just random studies. Some thumbnailing for a uh, illustration I did for a video as well. Some more sketches. This is also part of the thumbnails from that. Some more people drawing. Oh wow, there's like nothing on this page. Some more, th some thumbnails for. Um, the blue art supplies challenge. I want to do the green one soon because I really like green. It's such a nice color. It's just so earthy in nature. I think this is when I started to get a bit better at drawing faces. I don't know. Some frogs with Posca pens, some face doodles with Posca pens as well. My dog sleeping. This is hard to explain what where that's from. Some thumbnails for an illustration. You might recognize it. Some little animal studies, some dogs, and just like people dancing, kind of stiff. I started to stamp the date on these pages and I quickly got too lazy to do that. Just some photo studies, trying to get better at drawing from observation and different animals and people and different kinds of faces. These are not my own drawings. I was just trying to study expression, so these are not my original stuff. It was like essentialdrawing.com on Pinterest. It could have been stolen from an artist though. Um, whatever that website is, could have ripped it from another artist. So these aren't mine. This is mine though. I wrote not mine on all the ones that I didn't. Like this one is mine, not very good. But I do like how this one turned out and it's actually my own sketch. Some more interesting drawings, just trying to figure stuff out. More faces. I like this one. I like the style of that one. I drew a little bowl of ramen. A gouache tree. Didn't turn out the way I wanted it to, but it was kind of fun. And I also filmed that for a video. I think these were all in a video. It was like one of my first sketchbook session. First time I called it that. Just some some doodles. I think I was trying to figure out how to draw legs better. <laughs> or like um, male legs in pants. I find that so difficult for some reason. Posture studies. Just trying to figure stuff out. A lot of this sketchbook is just me trying to figure out how to draw stuff. I was designing a new stamp. I think I went with this one. I kind of like this sketch. I kind of, I just like the flow of it. These were all just like quick scribbles because I was at a beach and there was tons of seagulls and I was drawing the seagulls. There was dead fish everywhere and people swimming and I was trying to quickly get stuff down. Some interesting doodles here. Oh, why do I leave such big blank spaces? I think there was a cicada shell and I was drawing that. Some face studies. I really took my time with these. I liked the way they turned out. I think they really helped me understand faces a little bit better. I kind of like that one. It's like a smirk. 
like a don't touch me kind of thing. Some more of that. Some goats, because I want to, I really want to get better at goats. A cow, just some expressions. Why? Look at this huge blank space. I need to stop doing that. My next sketchbook, I'm going to not leave as many blank spaces. I usually don't. I don't know what's wrong with me this time. Some thumbnails for a drawing. It was like a random prompt. It was Mythical Beast guarding a gauntlet. So I wanted to do the bat as a mythical beast. I was trying to plan something here and never ended up actually making it. Some dog studies. I think this was a good day for me in terms of studies. I had a lot of fun drawing all these little dogs. Um, they were Most of them are greyhounds. They're so much fun to draw. Some more greyhounds. Um, just some stuff from reference, trying to get better. I think I started to improve around this point. They're, things are just starting to look a bit better. I got into like a good groove of drawing for these uh, couple days. I really like these little uh, wizards. A fox. So I find fox heads hard to draw. I think that one turned out okay. The line quality is not the best, but I think the observation of it is all right. Some really weird, I don't even know what to call these, but sketchbook is the best place to do these weird drawings. My dog wearing a bandana and a little face underneath it. My dog. Um, this was all from an anatomy book, Constructive Anatomy. I was trying to, just like copying the drawings that were in there. These are from it too. These are from Pinterest. I think another artist drew these. I was just studying the way they drew it because it looked good. <laughs> Some more greyhounds because I kind of got addicted to drawing them. They're so much fun. It makes me really, really want a greyhound, but I know they're so expensive. I'd rather just adopt from a shelter or something. I already have a dog, but I mean when I'm like older and get my own dog. Some more face studies. I think I was getting better at them. This one is so funny. Some cat studies. More cats. I like the way this face turned out. I was trying to draw a big face and I tried to like recreate the expression the way I wanted it to kind of look underneath. It was a really cozy fall day so I drew this and it didn't really turn out the best but it was just like the first nice cozy fall day. This is just from Pinterest. These are other artist drawings that I was studying from. Nothing too interesting there. And then uh, I had an old sketchbook that I really didn't like. So I cut out a bunch of the... So these are older than the stuff at the beginning. So you can kind of see how I improved. I, everything with tape is really old. So old, old. I needed somewhere to put them. I didn't want to lose these. Old, old. And old. And this is just, this was from a sketchbook that I ended up giving to my sister because she needed it for school. So I just took out these pages, stuck it in there, little frog. I really like the way these faces turned out. I think I was getting somewhere, like they all look different from each other, which I think is really nice. Dogs and cats, lizards and chameleons and a little doodle of a new plant I got. Some structural studies from Pinterest. Trying to learn how to draw shoes a bit better. <laughs> I like occasionally just going in and just drawing with a big fat black marker. It's really fun to do. Kind of helps you improve your mark making too. I just really like the style of the under eye um, being shown and not the upper one. I think it looks kind of nice. Some studies and some weird stuff from my head. I should probably post some of these. A failed study, kind of a failed face. I was trying to draw hands, so I turned on a hand pose generator, and I think they look all right, some of them. Some more hands here. Hands can be so much fun if you get it right, but there's always that one pose of, that one hand angle or pose that you just can't get right, and no matter how many times you try it, it just looks so bad. Oh, I didn't even, these are um, dogs and foxes trying to draw their little snouts. Got progressively better as I went on. I think this one turned out okay. And this is a cute little photo I had to try to recreate. And I didn't recreate it that well. <laughs> I think this is the last page here, yeah. I didn't use a lot of color in the sketchbook, so I wrote here, use more color, next sketchbook, get better at that. So I want to try to color in my sketches, which is why I made sure I got a mixed media one. And there's the last page.
There's a little sticker on the back. So I hope you enjoyed seeing this, my sketchbook, uh, the stuff I've been drawing for the last three months. I put a lot of work into this, and my next one is this one. Um, it's mixed media as well. I don't think there's as many pages. Um, I kind of like sketchbooks with not too many pages because if it's too long then I just kind of start to feel like it's almost like a burden sort of thing because then the stuff at the beginning is so old and the stuff at the end I guess it kind of shows your progression but I just prefer to have smaller sketchbooks just to like move on quicker sort of thing so I really hope you enjoyed this video I think I improved a lot in this sketchbook and I can't wait to fill the next one and to improve even more and try to draw bunch of different stuff I've never drawn before. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Hi everyone, so this video is going to be a sketchbook tour and I believe I started this sketchbook mid-September, um, somewhere around there, and now it's mid-December. So about three months, it usually takes me three months to finish a sketchbook. That just seems to be the magic time that it takes me. This is a Strathmore mixed media soft cover sketchbook. Someone is hammering outside, so if you hear any hammering noises that's what it is i'm not a big fan of the paper no i like the paper i don't like the way it was bound i'm gonna get a different sketchbook next time but the paper was fine i really like mixed media sketchbooks i think i went into this sketchbook just allowing myself to just kind of draw whatever i usually do that anyway like i just draw whatever in my sketchbooks practicing some anatomy stuff here just for my head Drew some bats. I think I just like scribbled in the background with some Crayola marker. Some fish. I think this was like brainstorming for a project. Well, this is really empty. This page is so empty and this looks so weird. I was drawing some dinosaurs, some people from references. Oh, that's a lot of dogs. I drew some ghost dogs, some normal dogs. I like how I actually filled the space in these ones. I think something I wanted to do in the sketchbook more was to um, was to use color more, and I didn't really do that, but I did it more than I usually do. Because sometimes I just like to leave things as sketches. I don't want to color everything, but I tried to do a little bit more of that than I normally do, I think. This was planning for a video, both of these pages. This page, I was just kind of going crazy with markers and colors. Um, nothing too resolved or thought through. This was just, just kind of playing around and putting down color for the sake of putting down color. Having fun with crayons. Oh, I gotta do more crayon stuff. I always forget about crayon. Crayon's super fun to use. I love just like picking three colors and just like layering them and having fun. Um, just seeing what kind of results you can get from the crayons. And it's really cool how it's kind of like shiny and waxy. It's really nice. My frog doodles, lots of little, lots of cute little frogs. I was using green, pink, um, tan color, and brown just to like draw these frogs. I think my favorites are this one and this one. More crayon stuff. I kind of like how this one turned out. I like the way I did the face. Some wax resist tests, just seeing how it works. This is a china marker with um, watercolor on top of it. Same thing down here. Nothing too resolved. Like, I didn't really put a lot of effort into each individual sketch. I was just, like, playing around a lot. Playing around with china marker again. And colors, and I kind of like this little doodle down there. Some sketches, I think from photos. From my head, drew a really long neck. <laughs> playing with um, crayon colors. I'm still not really happy with the way I draw certain kinds of faces. These are from references. I had a lot of fun with these. Just trying to capture expressions and head angles and stuff like that. I think I was trying to plan for drawings, but um, didn't really... Oh no, I did use this one. Um, didn't really fill the page though. <laughs> Hand studies, because I found myself kind of like not drawing hands enough, so I wanted to just get some practicing done. Head tilt studies, it didn't really turn out that well. Some watercolor and pencil, not real watercolor, I think they were watercolor markers. 
um, and like brown pencil and ink, just having fun with those. Drawing from reference, I really like this sort of style. I should do that more in my sketchbook. Um, mental note to myself. Had fun with this one too. I think this was a sketchbook session, but I really like this cat in this one too. Well, parts of this one kind of bother me. It doesn't read as well as I want it to, but I like this one. And I like this weird little spooky, or no, scared cat. <laughs> Some more cat doodles and just like playing around with marker. Um, I was really trying to kind of push my style a little bit and try drawing some really strange things and not worry too much about the way it looks. So the next few pages are going to be kind of weird. Playing with marker and style and proportions, nothing too resolved or finished, but it was a lot of fun to just kind of mess around because your sketchbook is the best place where you can just mess around. I actually took a picture a picture of this and I painted it and put it on Instagram. Um, I like the way I drew this. I like this sort of style. I want to explore that a bit more. Just having fun with sketching. This one's kind of a mess in terms of the colors. It just got really muddy. But it's kind of fun to just like sketch with a marker um, and like live with the consequences and the mistakes. Because these are pretty rough. Like there's... By rough I mean there's parts that look kind of wonky that I would change normally, but it kind of had to be left. Like the eyes crooked here and the style of the face isn't what I really wanted it to be, but I had to leave it. Kind of forces you to see your mistakes. Here's some bright doodles. Not happy with this face at all, but I mean, just using these bright colors was so much fun and I want to do it in a more controlled manner. It's fun to kind of like chisel out the face um, shading with just marker. It's just, it's so much fun just laying down bright colors on paper. The arms look kind of strange on this one, but I don't mind the head. Um, the colors got a bit muddy. I really like these, even though they're not, um, I don't know, they're kind of like strange and almost scary to look at, but I just love the orange and the brown together. I think it looks kind of cool. And this is my sister. <laughs> I like this one too, except for the hand. It's not the greatest. This one's just strange. Um, you can tell I just kind of gave up down here. I gave her a little crown and it's just, I don't know, it's kind of funny. More marker, just scribbling with marker. I kind of like these, they're, they're kind of cute. It looked, it looks like I used um, pencil crayon, but that's actually marker, just kind of like dry marker. And using bright orange to shade in faces is really fun. And just like leaving the white areas is a lot of fun too. This was in a recent video, a recent tutorial you might recognize, talking about um, directional shading, which helps art a lot. I'll link that above if you want to check it out, because it's kind of, it's a really simple concept, but it's something I never realized I should be doing, and once I started doing it, it made my art look a lot more fluid and more um, lively and just adds a lot of dimension to it. Next sketchbook, I want to fill pages more. Like, there's so much blank space, and it's kind of nice to have blank space um, sometimes, but I kind of want one of those sketchbooks that are very, like, scrapbook feeling and just, like, full of drawings on every single corner of the page. I really want that. Some weird doodles. Um, I sometimes do these, like, strange things just to try to force myself out of my comfort zone. A girl wearing some shoulder pads. Some lion doodles, and I actually took a picture of this one and painted it digitally and put it on Instagram. Some chickens, of course. A snowman thing that was in my house. It's like a decoration and it sings if you clap or if you hit it or something, something like that. A bird, a bird. Oh, it got so smudged. I didn't realize how smudged that got. Just having fun, trying to try out different styles, trying to push myself a little bit. Um, not really pushing myself, this is fairly in my comfort zone, but each face I tried to kind of not draw the way I always draw. And of course it looks like my style still, but there's like elements of things that I don't always do, I guess, if that makes any sense. The last page already, this must, this must be kind of a short sketchbook. How many pages are in here? I don't know. But just some simple dog doodles, I think these could actually make some cute stickers. I like this one and this one. Um, I'm overall happy with this sketchbook. Um, I think I just made some small improvements in it with style and just 
trying to loosen up a little bit more. Um, I'm excited to start my next sketchbook. I'm not sure which uh, one I'm going to use yet. I'm probably going to try to fill some of my smaller ones first and then get a bigger one um, eventually. And I want to focus on doing more colors, um, more anatomy, or just like drawing more people and not so many animals. Even though I love to draw animals, they're just so much fun. Um, I want to focus on colors more. I want to focus on colors more and filling the page more and trying to be more scrapbooky with it. But I don't know if that's really going to happen. I don't know if that's me, but I will try to, to give it a try. So this sketchbook took me three months. Um, the last sketchbook tour of 2018. Um, let me know how many sketchbooks you filled this year or how uh, many pages you've done. Because some people take longer because they do more detailed stuff, but I don't do detailed stuff at all. Um, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Hi everyone, so this video is going to be another sketchbook tour. And this sketchbook spanned, I think it was, I got this for Christmas um last year 2018 and i guess it's kind of spanned about four months that would be my guess um the reason why it took me longer than usual to finish is because of school um the workload was a lot more this year so i didn't have a lot of time for sketching and that's why a lot of the drawings in here are kind of absent-minded um a lot of them are very quick and not a lot of thought was put into them um, this would, it was just kind of my way of continuing my sketchbook, so I wasn't really doing a lot of thoughtful sketching, it was a lot of just kind of sketching and just not caring too much, which I think can be good, but I wish I had something I was a bit more happy with, but I do like um, most of what I did in this sketchbook. I think I improved a little bit. I also have my tea that I'll probably forget to drink throughout this entire video, <laughs> so here we go. Just skip the first page because it has my contact information on it. Now this is the real first page. I think it was, um, yeah, I got Ohuhu markers for Christmas, so I just filled a page doodling with them. I actually have them beside me, they look like this. They're just water-based markers, but I just find them super fun in sketchbooks because they don't bleed through the page, which is really nice. Just some watercolor. Her face has been looks very narrow. It's not right. I don't mind this one, but I don't like this one. <laughs> some doodles, more doodles with the markers. I remember having a lot of fun because it was Christmas break and I didn't have to worry about assignments at all. Just some style experimentation. I remember having fun with this page also, especially this sketch. Some bunny doodles with the ohuhu markers and some other pencil crayons I have. Tried to draw a truck really quickly and it's definitely very wonky. I also really enjoyed this page. I feel like I kind of started off a bit more confident and then I just kind of wasn't <laughs> as it went on in this sketchbook. Some more pencil crayon stuff. I had a lot of fun with this. I need to revisit this sort of style because that was a lot of fun. I'm not sure how to describe this page, just a bunch of little doodles. Someone holding a lantern? I think I wanted to do some kind of drawing like that with someone holding a lantern or a torch. So I might revisit that. Some red pages where I just drew stuff in red. I believe this was for a video using markers. I remember not being that happy with what I made for this video. Look at that long hair. Some possible pins slash sticker designs that I never really did. It's an egg, but it's also a planet. I thought it was a little bit too weird. Some more ideas for pins and stickers. I actually went with a few of these for a sticker pack in my store. I think I did this one and this one. Something I tried to doodle at school did not work because I felt self-conscious. 
my backyard. I need to do more, um, I just looked at my window, I need to do more sketches like this of just nature-y stuff. And I used a china marker, which is this really thick black sort of grease pencil, I guess you could call it. They're useful for writing on like metal and stuff, but also for art. And I really love sketching with them because they look like charcoal, but they don't smudge, which is really nice. Horrible bear drawing, and then my new ZZ plant, and then just a tree. Another, <laughs> you can tell it's like the same. Yeah, that did not work out. Some bears. I like this bear, but I don't really like this one. Some doodles. This was based off of a stuffed animal I saw. A bird in a cloak. A little bird. Not very happy with this page, but it's fine. Like, it's a sketchbook. I don't really care too much. Some cute little froggies. Another bear. Why did I draw so many bears? I don't know. I had a lot of fun with this page. It was for a video where I was using the Ohuhu markers. I think this is for a sketchbook fears video or something like that. The drawing that did not work out, so I used it as an example to be like, if you just can't stand to look at something, you can always cover it with tape. Don't make that a habit, but I mean, I used it, so. I had a lot of fun with these little Pasca pen doodles. I like this sketch. I think she has an interesting style. I liked this one too. And some loose ends. Oh, and here's where I drew a hundred hands. So there's a lot of pages of hands. Six. Wait. Yeah, a hundred. Okay, that's all the pens. I mean, hands. Why do I call them pens? That's weird. Just some half finished stuff. That's based off of a photo. Oh, yeah, this was a video where I just did some random character designs and I came up with these dudes. And I actually made him into a pin. Once he's up in my shop, I'll link him in the description, but he's an enamel pin. Because so I thought he was pretty cute. I want to do an, an illustration of these dudes. I want to do a series of just them having gardens in their tummies. More fun with color. I think this was also um, filmed during a video. Or filmed for a video. A little shoe. A snake. And some other sketches. I think these are made with some cheap dollar store brush pens that actually create kind of a cool texture. Big sketch. Some more doodles. Oh, I have fun with these, I remember. Sometimes I'll just pick up a colored pen and just only sketch with that. I think I had fun with this page. I think I decided I wanted to um, study birds, or maybe that's coming up later. I don't know. I think these are all from photo reference because I was having a hard time just trying to 
draw poses, which happens. Some more from photos. Some foxes. Some random creatures. Some more weird little little creatures. The big round beaver bear thing. And also from some photo reference. Some more stuff like that. Lots of really long neck ostrichy kind of looking things. I don't really know what to call that. <laughs> More bears. <laughs> this is where I started to draw the ladybug girl. And also, a little kitty. I like his face. He looks wise. Thought it'd be cool to kind of have her have a shell on her back. Probably been done before. I feel like that's something that's been done, but I just liked drawing staffs. So I kept doing it. A colored ladybug girl. Now this is where I wanted to kind of study birds a little bit more. So I pulled up a bunch of reference photos and just drew some birds. He looks like he's up to no good. More birds. And just some random doodles. I always have these pages of just random stuff that I'm always like, eh, about. Oh, I actually turned this into a Patreon sticker. I grabbed some highlighters from this store, some pastel ones, and I decided to doodle with them. You cannot really see them. This was some character designing for a video where I turned one of my house plants into a character. I should have went with him, he was my favorite, but I decided to go with more of a dinosaur looking thing. Some doodles from life, I think this was a golf course and some pathway. Another page of just little random bits and pieces. I think this was for a video. Just a sketchbook session kind of thing. I ended up drawing a lot of fish and people with fish on their shoulders and holding fish. And it turned into these little characters. Another page of little random doodles. This was from life, but they're not very well drawn. Some other doodles on that page. Then I drew my dog a whole bunch of times because she, this was in the span of 10 minutes, she just kept moving from post to post. She just gets up, walks around, sits, gets up, walks around, sits. But it's really fun to sketch her. I finally figured out how she sort of works, like how her ears work and her legs and stuff like that. This is my couch. I actually um, am making some stickers, made some stickers off of this and this, and actually that too. Some foxes from photos. I like how he turned out. Not so much him. <laughs> and he's like the first thing you see and he's a little wonky, but that's okay. And this was, oh yeah, this is from a sketchbook fears video, actually a recent one. It's so bright. This was the loose shape challenge. And this is just me drawing. I like her little headpiece that she has. I kind of started to get my flow back near the end. I started to kind of be more mindful when I was sketching and I enjoyed it a bit more. And also since school was over, I started to kind of feel better about sketching. So I'm excited to see what I do this summer in terms of sketchbooks. This was all for planning um, one of my recent illustrations. 
and that's the last page. I ended it off with a page that is, is in so many pages of the sketchbook of just all these like separate little drawings. So I really hope you enjoyed seeing my sketchbook. I don't even know which sketchbook tour this is. I've done so many on my channel. Um, but I'll link another one above if you want to check out another sketchbook tour. And I should mention this is the Elo Elo sketchbook. Um, it's square format. It's really nice. I like it a lot. You have to buy it from their website. That's the only place they sell it, I'm pretty sure. But I think I learned a lot in this sketchbook and I'm glad it's finally done because there's... I'm not totally, I'm not 100% happy with this. So I hope the next one I do will be... I'll feel better about. I still think it's a... Like, I did decent stuff in here, it's just not what I... It's not my ideal sketchbook. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Hi everyone, so it's time to do another sketchbook tour, finally. I don't know why I've been like this lately, but I haven't been sketching, or like, I haven't been using my sketchbook as much as I usually do. Usually I finish one every three months, but it's been a really long time because I just haven't been using a sketchbook. I've been doing a lot of drawing, just not in here, but it's finally done, and I hope the next one won't take as long, so let's jump into it. So this is the Illo sketchbook. It's really good for mixed media and has smooth paper. Um, I just really like the quality of it, but they're hard to get because shipping is expensive and they're always out of stock, um, and I got these as gifts like last Christmas. So I started the first page with some seahorses. I think I was just looking at some photos and just trying to draw them and just having fun with markers and watercolor. Maybe this was all watercolor. I think the lines are markers, but the other stuff is watercolor. I drew uh, these poses from reference, so I didn't really come up with the poses. I was just trying to recreate them and put my own characters in it. I think Mermaid was coming up, so I wanted to kind of practice the anatomy. I didn't do Mermaid, but I just felt like drawing some mermaids. Just some random ink drawings um, and these dogs. I like these dogs, probably from photo reference. Oh, this was the first mermaid I did. Did I do any others? I don't think so. I did like a shrimp uh, mermaid, but I never posted it because I wasn't happy with it. Drew this really big fish and some jellyfish. And this weird fish I saw, I think I was drawing from photos I took of an aquarium that I went to. I think that's what this was, what this page was. This is from a photo reference. It was too cute to not try to draw. I think it's a bunch of meerkats and they're all like huddled together. It's super cute. Just some birds, random doodles, nothing too special here. I do like this drawing of my dog though. I like the lines I used. I think this was more drawings from the aquarium I went to or was it planning for, I think it was planning for an illustration. So I was drawing like different types of coral. Oh yeah, I did do a mermaid drawing. It was this one and it was like a magma coral mermaid. mermaid. I used um, like a prompt list. And this was the final one. I think I offered it as a print. It was like a bonus item for pa for patrons. And I always liked how the tail turned out on it. I should have filled, filled it out more. Like I really need to fill pages more. This was planning for an illustration, like uh, Critter Houses, I think I called it. It's actually a print on my store. And I think I did a video on it. And I used this page to kind of plan out my, my thumbnails really quickly. It wasn't too in depth. This is a sketch of a place near me. It's not the best sketch. I wish I had a thicker marker for it because it's just super scratchy and I think a thicker marker would have been a lot better for this. I feel like I was in kind of a rut with a lot of these sketches in here. Just some watercolor doodles. Not a fan of this one or this one or this one. This one's okay. I don't know. Um, some more sketches. I think some of these were... No, these weren't from reference. I just kind of drew them, I think. Yeah. Some more random drawings. This actually became an illustration. I don't know what I, what I was doing or writing here. I have no memory of doing this page. Oh yeah, these sketches were fun. And I kind of sketched over top of some swatches. I don't mind how that sketch turned out. A mask. I think I saw a drawing and tried to like recreate it there. I don't know. Oh, this was also planning for the dragon um, illustration I did. I think this was the first sketchbox I opened. Yeah, I ended up looking something like this. A bunch of backpack doodles um, to prepare for a backpack zine I was going to do. I really like drawing with bold markers. It's just so much fun. My dog, um, one of my vegetable plants, I think, and just a bunch of houses just practicing from reference. Because um, I find whenever I go to draw a house, I never know like what features to add to the house. Because you know when you draw a person, you draw like the face and the eyes and the nose and hands and you can draw like 
scarves or dresses or suits or whatever. When it comes to a house, I'm like, a roof, a door, and then what? Like, what else? Windows. But, like, what makes a house look cool? So that's why I like to draw houses like this every once in a while. Some pencil crayon doodles. I gotta do this more in my next sketchbook. I have a lot of fun with pencil crayon. A hippo. I like how that hippo looks. Um, a lot of random animal sketches. These little hippos, fun to draw. I love just pulling up photos of animals and just sketching them. It's just a lot of fun. This was a video. Uh, I did this whole spread in a video and I had so much fun with this. I really enjoyed just like painting in the colors and just having fun drawing stuff I wanted to draw. I actually made a sticker sheet out of this bird too. I drew a bunch more of similar like styled birds and they're all doing different things. I remember I was really struggling this day when I was sketching. What was I? I think this was in a video or something and I was just having so much trouble with it or no, maybe it wasn't a video. But I was doing this on my own time and I just could not draw properly for the life of me and I kept having to cover stuff with sticky notes um, but sometimes that just happens. You can't expect every page to be good. This was a video also, um, just letting myself sketch. I find I start a video and I draw a bunch of things that just look really weird and then one of the last things I draw I actually like and if I kept drawing then the rest would be better but all you really get to see is all my all my like warm-ups and mistakes. Some sketches of my dog. She's always fun to draw. I used to have a really hard time drawing her, but I'm starting to get better at it. This was also a video. I really liked um, working with the watercolor in this page. I just like the colors I got. And mixed with the pencil, I just think it's a lot of fun. And this little Doberman is so cute. Like this was one of the last sketches I did of the whole page and it ended up being one of my favorites. And I love um, this pencil. I need to use that more. So you can get some really nice dark lines, but also some mid-tone values. It's kind of nice to be able to flip through this again. This page was kind of fun to do. I had, um, I don't know. I never know how I want to stylize people. There are so many different ways of drawing people. And I just, sometimes I like to explore different ways. And I need to draw feet better. I need to focus on drawing better feet um, because I always just don't put a lot of effort into it. And I know I can, I just need to, need to do it better because it can really give a nice place for your character to sit. And also that hand. I could have erased that hand and actually drawn a hand, but no, and I could have drawn a hand there? Or it could be behind his body. I don't know. This was kind of a, a mess up page. I tried to draw like a lake I was sitting by, but it didn't really turn out. I didn't have the right materials with me. And I kind of rushed it, but I did do this sketch. Um, it was actually my mom swimming, and I like how that one turned out. I don't remember what this was or why I did this on this page, but sometimes you just have pages like this that just are not really sketches. I don't know what I was doing but it's there. I should have made something out of it. I had to tape in some uh, drawings because I didn't want to lose them. So I I found, like I had this loose sheet of sketches that I actually liked most of them. So I just flipped through this and found little blank areas and stuck them in. So this was one of those pages that didn't have a lot of sketches on it. So I fit them in so I won't lose them because they were drawn around the time I had this sketchbook. These are two paintings. I think I have more, yeah. I went through a gouache study phase where I went outside and painted some flowers. Um, I like how this one turned out. This one is muddy and not really what I wanted it to be. It's overworked and it's kind of dull, but I don't mind this one. I think it has some nice looseness to it. There's a whole video on this too, actually. Um, I painted my dog. I really like how these paintings turned out. Um, she's a lot of fun to paint and I think I got a lot better at painting her because um, I painted her a long time ago. I did a little comparison on my Instagram showing before and after. Well, these are both after. But um, I just really like um, her fur because it's black, but she also has some brown. And then depending on where she is, there's blues and purples and greens all reflected in her black fur. So she's a lot of fun. And she has so much gray now compared to last time. So there's a lot of gray around her, her nose. Another painting from outside overworked, but I learned from it. I only really like this part down here, the way I did the lighting on the flower pot. Some frog sketches and some dogs or wolves. I don't really know what this was for. I think this was for a bunch of character designs, but there's hardly anything on the page. Some, this was for a video. I think I was combining a few animals together. So there's a lot of sketches of different animals all across these pages and it turned into that. And I've never been fully happy with this at all. I wish I could change it, but you can't always be happy with everything. This was a mess up sketch also that I didn't, I tried to sketch it, tried to redo it, ended up way stiffer and not what I wanted it to be at all, but 
that's okay. It's in the past. I really like doing these sketches. Um, not so much this one. And then this was also part of it. And I ended up making this a print because it just, I just like the way it turned out. Um, I think it's pretty cute. And it was a Patreon print, so it was limited. And a, a bunch of people got it. And I just really like the way this bunny turned out. The rendering of it, I had a lot of fun with. Because it's like pastel, watercolor, gouache, pencil crayon. It's a lot of stuff mixed together. I find that's like the perfect balance for me. I have to mix a bunch of stuff. I drew these like sibling characters on this page, just having fun with that. Some weird doodles on this side, just a lot of stuff that I draw and I'm like, oh, that looks bad. And I move on, I draw something else that looks bad and I don't bother to fix anything, but I don't think you really need to fix stuff necessarily. I think I was doing a bunch of... Oh yeah, I always have a hard time composing images when it's a landscape. Like I can't think of any interesting ideas when it's like an actual like space. So I was looking up a bunch of just like photos of um, environments and landscapes and stuff and I was just doing little thumbnails trying to like copy down the composition to hopefully give me some ideas in the future and to help me draw things I don't normally draw. So more of the same. I think I was actually stopped by a railroad track so I drew what I saw because this looks like a rail a railway track to me. This was a sketch um, I was outside of I was also parked somewhere else and I was just like drawing and there's a little seagull so I, I and I like the composition of it there's so much space down here but then he's there and I like the rendering of the trees I was with a friend um we were hanging out by the water and I was just drawing some of the wood and the rocks and the boats around us just getting the textures and stuff it was pretty fun these are some crayon drawings which I always get excited about and then I start drawing with crayon and I just can't get anything to look right because you can't get very dark colors and it's just such a weird tool to work with, but I still like crayon and I'm still going to keep trying to use it. This is more of that um, page I didn't want to lose, so I, I glued it on this side because this was empty because it was full of crayon shavings. Here's some bee, some crayon bees. I don't mind how they turned out. I think they need a little more definition, but you can't really do much with crayon. I did put some Posca markers on top, which isn't a good idea to put it on top of wax, but I just did it. Oh yeah, I've never liked this page. I think everything just didn't turn out very forced, very stiff and weird. Um, I was never a fan of these, but yeah, I'll just turn the page. Some cars I was drawing in a parking lot, um, a rock. This is like a very like Northern Canada kind of um, environment. And so is this, they're both from the same place, I think. I think it's the same, it's like the same shoreline when I was camping. I was just like drawing what I saw around me. Um, just some ink work. I actually like how that... Man, my, my favorite kind of um, ink pen is... Is this it? Oh, it is. It's the kind with the flexible nib like this. So you can do like... Oh my gosh. <laughs> you can do all kinds of stuff with it. You can do really thin, really thick, and you don't need to have... Um, the most precise grip in the world because it's a pretty hard pen so it's easy to get softer lines without just barely touching the paper. Oop. <laughs> um, some more boats. I think this was at the same place where I was drawing the other water stuff but I was there with um, my family instead, not a friend that time. And I was just drawing stuff with a red soluble, w water soluble pencil and just using my brush, pe my water brush pen to um, just like blend out some of the stuff. I think that's a really fun way to work. Using a water soluble dry media and then adding water. So it's really easy to do when you're on the go. Here's more of that page that I glued in. I really like the way this bird turned out. I love pencil crayon. I need to use it more. I like it for sketching. I don't like doing big things with it, just small stuff. This was also for a video. Um, just drawing, doodling, having fun some more stuff. I don't really know what these were for. Oh yeah, I was drawing some characters from the Barbie movie, but like I barely drew anything. <laughs> oh yeah, I think this was, was this a video? I don't, I don't really know, but this is a picture I saw on Pinterest and I had to try to draw it. Um, another picture I saw on Pinterest, some, some plants that I really want. I think that's like a rubber, a rubber plant or something. And just some like random doodles and just having fun with media and Filling a sketchbook page, because that's always fun to do, just to like really fill it up. I wish all my sketchbooks could look like that, but I just, sometimes I just like to have pages that aren't so like crammed, you know? I don't know. But also not this empty. This barely has anything on it. Um, trying out a different kind of coloring. 
using some pencil crayons, some uh, sh hue shifting ones, which are really fun because they kind of change color as you sketch. So this one is like pink and blue. This is also a pretty popular picture on Pinterest. So I decided pretty popular picture on Pinterest. That's a lot of alliteration. Um, working on sneakers because uh, I need to draw them better. I need to draw feet better, hands better. Because I tend to like glaze over shoes and just like give it like a general shoe shape. So I was trying to do that here and like draw better shoes, I guess. This one could be improved. I think those, one are, those ones are okay. It was just like some random bunny girl I started to draw just for fun. Because sometimes it's fun to draw that stuff. Also some wrinkles. Uh, this was copied from a photo someone did. I think a lot of these were from... Um, like the shoes in the hand were from like a how to draw sort of thing. So I was trying to copy them down. Here's some water soluble pencils I was just swatching in here. And I actually did the drawings um, after my Inktober. So I did it all the way at the back. Oh yeah, now we're into Inktober. Um, so you got to see all my Inktober drawings and all my failed ones too. These were the thumbnails. I did a whole video of where I planned out my Inktober and tried to get a head start because I knew I wouldn't... Um, be that successful if I didn't have any idea what I was doing. I tried to follow the prompts for the most part, but it got to a point where I did a few that didn't follow the prompts and then I kind of stopped doing Inktober because I got too busy. But I did get all the way to day 22, so I almost did it. I did like two thirds of it. So this was Ring. It's a, a witch or something with a bunch of bells because of ring, bells ringing. This was Mindless, so it's like a big um, giant that's kind of just like wandering around mindlessly. What was this? <laughs> I don't know exactly what all the prompts were. Oh, bait. Um, someone fishing. Ice fishing. I could draw that ellipse way better. Um, freeze, because she has the middle of his stomach and he wants it back. Um, build. She's building a decoy scarecrow. Um, husky. Failed attempt. Husky attempt number two. But this one actually doesn't look so bad now that I'm looking at it again. I like the way I did the dogs better in the background too. Um, Enchanted or something. She brought a bunch of pumpkins and fruits to life. I think this was overgrown or fragile? Frail. I think that was frail. It's a deer. I always think deers are very frail looking. Swing. Um, someone's swinging on a tree with all these little little creatures hidden around it. I think this is pattern. Yeah, because of the pattern shirt and the cardigan too. This is a very pattern based sort of thing. Um, What was this? Wild or something? Or sled or snow? I think it was snow. Something like that. Um, This was dragon, of course. Two dragons. This was kind of like a failed one, like experimental. Did not go well. Um, I think this was Ash. Wasn't a huge fan of this one either, but people seem to like it. Overgrown, just like a, a bull, I think, or something similar. Um, overgrown with plants just growing out of the fur. Pretty common sort of trope you see around. What was this? Um, legend. So they're looking at cave paintings. So it's kind of like a legend, like something from a long time ago, passed down. I think this is wild. Just a dog and a bird flying and running together. I kind of had fun with that one. Ornament. I really like this one. I want to turn it into a print and I might color it too. I think that'll be fun. This was supposed to be Misfit that I messed up and another Misfit that I messed up. Um, and then this was Misfit because he's wearing a scarf and most birds don't do that. I guess that makes him a Misfit. It was kind of a stretch. That's when I started to not really feel the prompts. And I did um, just like a photo study with ink from a wintry day, like last year or the year before. And this was, I don't think this was a prompt. I think I just kind of drew it, but I think it ended up fitting the prompt by accident. So I don't know, <laughs> just a frog with some flowers and someone like a spider witch sort of thing. And then I gave up on Inktober. <laughs> I really like this cat sketch. I think it's pretty fun and not a fan of like the hand there. But I think these turned out okay. Um, this was like me playing around with some materials, some gouache, some colors of gouache I've never had before. So it's pretty fun. Some little ghosty dudes. I actually did this quite recently today. Um, use some highlighters, just drawing a bunch of nonsense, honestly. <laughs> this is a dog holding a basket, but it kind of looks like he has just a huge mouth. 
just some sketches from photos of these like children just like running around so I wanted to try to get the energy of that I wish I didn't do this like black borders um but some watercolor frogs I was gonna turn into stickers but none of them really went as expected this page is a huge mess um I don't mind this face but like the rest of it is like a, not great <laughs> I like this bunny. I meant to turn this into something. I, I like the way I, I drew that. These are like really scary, shadowy figures. A bird with a coat, because I always draw animals with coats. Frog with an umbrella. He could have been a sticker. Um, some leaves. A pumpkin for some reason? Oh, I think my sister drew that. My sister did that. Because I wanted her to try one of my brush pens. And the last page is just this little frog, because sometimes I like to just leave it with a little... Just a very small thing. I want to turn him into a sticker also. And that's everything. Um, I think, I don't know how many pages these sketchbooks have, but I really like Illo sketchbooks. But as you saw, um, I actually started a new sketchbook already because I had the rest of this one reserved for Inktober. But then when I decided not to do Inktober anymore, I had to then fill the rest of the pages before I could do the sketchbook tour. So now this is finally done. I can put the sketchbook to rest and not carry it around with me anymore and focus on my new one and just try to fill that one and just have fun with it um and hopefully get a nice one like this again maybe for christmas hopefully i don't know because i really like these square ones they're just i just like using them so i really hope you enjoyed seeing my sketchbook let me know how your sketchbook is going and i'll see you in my next video